What is up everybody? This is Lyle No Hippie Trucking and Transportation coming at you from the Salt Lake City Terminal. Came out here so I could pick up my co-driver to knock out his 30,000 miles in TNT training. For those of you guys who have been watching my channel, I told you the last time I came out here I took a new route out here and I cannot impress on you enough that if you're coming to the Salt Lake City area from the east don't take 80 over all them mountains and come down into Salt Lake City, man. Take the 80 to the 84 to the 89. The 89 turns into 15. Then you catch the 215. Uh, I think that's called the Belt Route or something. 215. That'll drop you off on California Avenue. It is exactly, let me see, 12 miles longer. I did calculate that out. 12 miles longer. You save a ton on fuel and uh, you have like one little upgrade that might be like a mile and a half, but that is it. So much of a better route. Try it out if you haven't tried it yet. But uh, also wanted to let everybody know I am up here. I plan on giving away that $100 to anybody that sees me with my super trucker headset on outside of my truck. So we'll be looking for one lucky person on that. And other than that, it's just time to start this TNT training journey. I've been trying to get my mind right for all this driving that I'm gonna be doing. And one thing I will tell you is, you know, if you happen to be in PSD or whatever and you haven't made it to TNT, that is gonna be one, well, let me not say that. Well. Depending on your trainer, that could be a grueling process. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I've been hearing a lot of people taking a long time to even get the 30,000 miles. You know, I hear, you know, some people are having to stay on their trainer's truck for a little bit longer after the 30,000 miles, which that's not a bad deal. Like I said, I did 140,000 miles in TNT training and the transition was seamless. You know what I'm saying? So. Uh, but I'm hearing like people that are taking like months and months to get even, or you know, a lot longer than it should to go through TNT training. So we're gonna try to do this in five to six weeks. Uh, that's about it. <clears throat> the load that I got was a Sam's Club load picking up out at, uh, at the Walmart DC in Loveland, Colorado. Luckily when I got there the load was ready so I was able to get it out here in one shift so that is good. Uh meeting my co-driver up here tomorrow uh anytime before 12 o'clock. We're dropping off in Idaho Falls, Idaho, 218 miles away, and we have an open window till 2100 on that. So I'm thinking we might leave two, three o'clock, somewhere in there. Get out there like seven o'clock. They do have overnight parking, should uh, we not get a load right away. Uh, so that's good. Anyway, that is pretty much all that, uh, you know, I'm supposed to be doing a video about rules the TNT trainers have and I didn't get as much participation in the comments section on that so I did speak with some people have some stuff written down uh, that I'll kind of go over what my thoughts are on some of that as far as uh, this co-driver goes he's the first one that I've taken from the PSD phase to the regular yeah, from PSD directly to TNT. So we did work on a few things, and one thing that I can say is uh, he's a very good driver. May need to work on anticipation a little bit more. You know, I looked at the fuel economy that I was getting driving by myself, and then when uh, we were both driving, and uh, leaves a lot to be desired and I think a lot of that is just not having anticipation like you see that stop sign up there how about we start coasting now 
instead of going directly from the gas to the brake you know what I'm saying or uh, you know starting off the truck maybe not have it floored all the way to the having the pedal all the way to the floor things like that uh, maybe not riding with the jake brakes on as much maybe use that a little bit more manually but you know really my focus with him since I did get a chance to spend a lot of uh, time in PSD training with them is uh, more kind of the intricacies and stuff like that as far as how to make money what I think about in certain loads why I might run one load at a certain speed than another one uh, you know going over my thought process when I get a load what time I think I'll be able to get it there um, so it's just gonna be a little bit more subtle I'm not starting off or a little bit more intricate I guess you could say because I'm not starting off at ground zero like I did with the last two uh, that I got but that is about it um, it is staying light outside for all you solar power truckers. It's almost 9 o'clock and the sun is still out. So I have been noticing that it's been a little easier getting into these truck stops lately. Uh, now that the sun's staying out a little bit longer. But I'm about to run in here, grab something to eat. And uh, just come back out here and go to sleep. Really didn't have much to say other than... I'm out here picking up my co-driver and uh, you know they gave me the option and then I gave that option to my co-driver if he wanted me to pick him up when we were done with this load. Uh, we're really not dropping off at the best time of night to get another load after this so we might end up sitting a while after we're done dropping this off which is something I was trying to avoid, but he's like, man, I need to start making some money. So I was like, all right, let's get out and hit it. So I'm not one to be turning down loads because of money or anything like that. To me, the money's never been an issue and I really don't turn down that many loads anyway, but it seems like every time I'm out in Idaho Falls, they're trying to give me a potato load to the Chelsea market in Boston. If I get that load, I will probably ask if they have something else available because I cannot stand that place that is one of the maybe maybe one of the three places that I absolutely just hate going to there is nothing about it and or nothing about that place that I like so I'm already assuming that that is a pretty high probability so anyway let me quit rambling on. I just wanted to stop in and say what's up right quick. As always, I do appreciate you guys stopping by No Hippie Trucking and Transportation. Comment, subscribe, and I'm out.